Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I will show you how to create a really really cool storage for your VersaFine Claire ink pads and it will consist of two halves and the whole thing is gonna hold all 24 uh, VersaFine Claire ink pads, ink pads. and um, it is perfectly, I sized it absolutely perfect to hold those, okay? So that's specifically going to be for your VersaFine Claire ink pads. So for the whole project, you will need, and let's start from this one, you will need four pieces that measure six and a half by two and a quarter inches, four of those then you will need four pieces that measure eight inches by two and a quarter inch four of those then you will need two base pieces that measure six and a half by eight and one eighth of an inch and then you will need a bunch of dividers uh, you will need 32 pieces that measure 2 inches by 1 inch. After that, you will need your shelves. And for your shelves, so let me just mention that all this is chipboard. Your chipboard, okay? So for your shelves, you will need just ordinary cardstock. Uh, anything I would say 210 GSM plus onwards uh, is good for that because we're gonna fold it in half and it's gonna make it sturdier so for your shelves please cut cardstock and cardstock is gonna measure seven sorry not seven cardstock is gonna measure eight inches by four inches and you will need 10 pieces of these. So for shelves, cardstock that measures 8 inches by 4 inches and 10 pieces for the whole project. Okay, and now uh, I will show you how to assemble uh, the one half and you're gonna do the same way second half, exactly the same. Uh, so let me just go through with you what you need for one half of this project. So for a half of this project, you will need five shelves, eight inches by four inches, one base, six and a half inches by eight and one eighth inch. You will need two pieces that measure eight by two and a quarter inches you will need two pieces that measure six and a half inches by two and a quarter inch and then you will need 16 of little pieces that measure two inches by one inch and this is to make one half of the project and you will assemble second half exactly the same Okay, so we're going to put our base aside for now and we're going to start with these two pieces and these are our sides. So there is a method to the madness and I would like you to follow this particular bit very carefully. So to start we're going to take one piece that measures eight by two and a quarter inch and two pieces that measure six and a half by two and a quarter are gonna go on these sides okay and we are going to be gluing this together uh, so we can actually uh, work with it later on okay so important step is that when you glue these pieces together you have to make sure 
that 8 inch long piece is sitting in between these two pieces between these two short pieces okay and because I perfectly sized it for this particular Versafine Claire ink pads this is very important you follow this step don't put don't glue this bit on top of this don't do that because then you're not gonna have enough space so we want to glue this eight inch and let me take this one eight inch piece on on the side of the six inch piece okay so let's go ahead and do that And then you want to take another short piece that measures uh, six and a half by two and quarter inches and this piece is going right over here so that our eight inch piece is actually sitting in the middle of these two Uh, the next piece and this is the one that measures eight inches by two and quarter inches you want to glue it in between these two like so so you want to apply glue right on the edge over here on both sides like so and we want to glue it in the middle of these two pieces these two shorter sides once it's all dry you will take your base piece that measures six and a half inches by eight and one eighth inch and you will do a dry run so you want to put this on top of what we've already constructed and you might want to trim a little bit depending on how it actually sits so let's have a look let's have a look at that it looks good from all the sides so far but I do have a little bit of a lip so I will show you that in a moment give me a second let me just position it straight like so like so and as you can see I have a little bit of a lip hanging out so I will go and cut that little bit away now that I've cut it it fits perfectly and next what we're gonna do we're gonna glue our base piece onto our frame for that you want to apply your glue and be generous with your glue all around the edges all four sides and you want to stick this on top 
of our sides that we've constructed, making sure that it's all sitting even from all sides. So your corners are your guide in this instance. So as long as you have all four corners nice and even, you can then go ahead and check your sides. So go inside and you're gonna see your glue oozing out a little bit don't be afraid to spread it all around like so and now that our base is constructed put it aside and let it dry meanwhile we are going to work on our shelves so for shelves we need cardstock that measures 8 inches by 4 inches and uh, for the half of the project you will need 5 of those so go ahead and cut 5 of those uh, then you will take your scoreboard and on 4 inch side score at 2 inches do it to all 5 the same then you want to fold it neatly making sure it's all nice and neat fold it burnish it and now using your glue we're gonna stick it these both sides together making a nice sturdy shelf you don't need to use a chipboard for this step because ink pads they're not heavy okay and this is going to be enough also do not use chipboard because everything sized is sized perfectly and if you're gonna use chipboard it's not gonna fit in our construction that's for sure so if you are following follow every single step as I'm doing and showing you okay so this is going to be our shelf and you want five of those and remember this is only for half half of the project so five of those uh, next are our dividers so you want 16 of those that are measuring two inches by one inch and what i've done in here i will show you because i'm using black as my base color um, i thought i'm gonna color these black as well obviously you don't want them to be white uh, and stand out too much so what i basically have done uh, i took my sharpie marker the one with chisel end and i went like so with sharpie over my white chipboard okay oh and i got some on my nail some sharpie on my nail and this is a permanent marker uh, if you want however you can use black acrylic paint for this but i thought it's gonna be too much mess for doing these little pieces so i'm going both sides coloring in black and then what i'm doing you want the side that is going to be visible so one short side and i also do a little bit on the top a little bit on the bottom 
and this is going to be enough for this piece so you will do all this to all pieces and all 16 of them then when our base is dry we are going to work with some paper hinges and paper hinges are just strips of paper mine are uh, inch wide and i just cut i think it was a three maybe a three size cardstock i did cut it doesn't really matter if you have a four that's fine uh, cut a four paper and these are one inch wide and to make a paper hinge you will get your scoreboard and you are going to score it at half inch and this is what is going to make you a paper hinge this is something what is necessary to use for the project to be sturdy okay so paper hinges you will need and i tell you now you will need two pieces that are six and quarter inch long and then two pieces that are seven and three quarters inch long and then you will need one two three four five six seven eight eight pieces of your hinges that are two inches long and we are going to start with short ones and what you want to do is fold them, burnish, and then I will take my Mod Podge again. And you want to apply glue on your hinges. Use whichever glue you have glue itself is gonna make project sturdier as well so i would advise you if you want to use like for example double-sided tape do not use because glue is gonna make the whole project be sturdier and then what we're gonna do take our base and put it inside right in a corner like so and then go ahead and burnish make sure it all sticks all sides And then you're going to continue to do the same to all four sides.
and now the same way I'm going to glue uh, our remaining eight pieces that are two inches long and these pieces these hinges are gonna go on outside of our corners as well as inside on our corners so four are going inside and four are gonna be going outside that we added to our box made it really sturdy now so it will definitely not gonna fall apart so this is our base done and next thing we're going to do and I will be using my very favorite artist tape for that however if you don't have artist tape uh, you can also use paper hinges for that. It's completely fine. Uh, however, it's, it's going to save me some time as well. So now it is time for you to decide uh, which one you want to be the top and the bottom. So we are going to sit on our 8 inch side and it will be like so. So our 8 inch side um is our bottom and 8 inch side is going to be on our top so now it's up to you uh, to decide which one is going to be your bottom which one is going to be your top if there is any difference of course uh, so i'm thinking i'm thinking this is going to be my bottom so i'm working on bottom is eight inch side okay remember that and for this step as i mentioned you can always always use paper hinges it's nothing wrong with that so i'm going to start on the bottom and i will be going around with my artist tape and i position it so i get half of my tape let me have a look I can't can't seem to be put it putting it straight let me start again like so okay so I position half of it hanging out and half of it is actually on the box itself and I will be going around with this tape. I did cut it with my scissors 
and it will have a little seam so this is going to be my bottom next step you are going to pinch corners a little bit and this applies if you are using your paper hinges as well so what we're gonna do to our corners uh, the bit that's hanging off the project we are going to cut from one side of the corner and another side of the corner cutting out this little bit and what you want to do is take this little bit pull it and stick it in your corner like so and this is going to give your project a very nice and neat look and you're going to repeat that to all four corners after you've done your corners it's time to fold what we have left of our tape fold it back like so don't forget to burnish it this will give it a nice finish look Now the only side we have left is the side where our base is and I will do exactly the same and repeat the same step for this side here. Our base is constructed and now for our next step uh, we want to mat um, this bit here inside our um, base piece so for that you want to you want really to measure uh, width and height so mine is gonna be seven and seven eighths by six and one eight when you cut your piece make sure you try it and it fits inside nicely okay like so what you want to do and obviously i'm using black card uh, but it doesn't matter what color you are using so next on this piece you want to take a ruler find a middle and let's have a look so you want to find the middle you want to make a little mark and this step is very important and then take your tzilu ruler draw a line okay and now we're gonna measure it again so drop it down without gluing it down yet drop it down take your two versafine clear ink pads and have a good good look because this line has to be in the middle of two ink pads when you put them in okay and mine is if it's not in the middle 
then erase your line do it again until you get it like so that line is in the middle when you put your two ink pods in and mine is perfect so i'm gonna take it out i'm gonna glue it down and you have to make sure when you glue it down that this line is visible it's facing you because this is going to be our guide After you glued your piece down next we want to mat our sides from inside and for that you will need a cardstock that measures uh, 2 inches by 6 and 1 eighth however measure your own okay so two inches by six and one eighth you need two pieces of cardstock like that and another two pieces that will measure seven and three quarters by two inches so let me write it down somewhere so to mat inside bits you want seven and three quarters by two inches and you want two of those and six and one eighth inch by two inches you want two of those as well and this is going to be for matting our inside bits after you cut them out make sure they all fit nicely inside like so check them out before you glue them down and then when you're happy with it go ahead and stick them down and now it looks really nice okay so this glue is gonna dry and it's gonna dry clear so i'm not too worried about that and now this is where the fun begins you want to take these little bits uh, and i call them dividers our little dividers and you want 16 remember you want 16 for one half of the project so also take all 16 of those and these were measuring two inches by one inch and we want to take three at a time and what we're going to do with those we are going to put and make sure you see i colored this side i didn't color this side so i'm going to stick them with black bit sticking towards me facing me okay so just make sure that you do glue them correct way and we are going to glue them starting from the bottom and remember bottom is our eight inch side okay so this is our bottom eight inch side so now we are going to take one of those put it right in the corner up to the base and I have this little bit up to the base and making sure that it stay, sits right at the bottom and glue it down like so next we're going to take our second piece put the glue on one side 
and we are going to attach it to this side the same way make sure it's right up there in the corner like so and make sure it sits on the bottom and touches our base piece like so and don't worry about the glue it's gonna dry clear well mine is anyway and now this is where we got to this line which we draw with a pencil this is going to be our guide so next what you want to do and this i want this side facing me okay nice side facing me now i'm going to apply glue on the edge of this piece edge and the back like so and you want to position this piece where our guide is our pencil line you want it to sit straight like so make sure it is straight so don't be afraid to take your ink pads slide it in and have a look okay that they fit perfectly inside so this one is now in the right place next we want our shelves and your shelves don't forget we did cut them eight inch long so what you want to do is have a look and if needed just trim a touch okay and all mine more likely gonna need to be trimmed but that just takes a second so i'm cutting off slightly that much and don't be afraid to try it and see whether it fits or not before you glue it down okay uh, so next i'm going to apply when i i'm sure that it's fit it's going to fit inside i'm going to apply glue to both these edges and we already have some glue in our middle part i'm going to slide it in and sit one side on this bit another side on this bit and i'm going to sit the middle on our middle bit on our middle divider and this is as easy as that so just hold it into place like so and then we are just gonna carry on repeating for with the rest of the box taking three pieces at a time and gluing it on the right hand side left hand side and middle and putting our little shelf on the top
after you did put your last shelf in you will notice that you only have left with one divider and this is because you don't really need any more dividers on your sides so your last divider is just going in the middle like so Here we are so this is one half of the project go ahead and do another one the same way after that you're gonna have to decide what pattern papers you want to use to mat all of it outside from outside and I will just show you that this versifying clear rings do sit nicely inside as you can see so we're gonna have 12 of them sitting on one half 12 of them sitting on the other half and we're gonna do something very very cool with it and it's gonna be a very nice finished project so go ahead and go mat it I will do the same. I have matted both sides of my project using beautiful Stamperia Savannah papers. So I chose this image for one side and these papers from background collection Savannah as well uh, to mat sides. Uh, bottom I left plain so I glued only black cardstock and for my second frame for my second half of the project I chose these beautiful papers with this cheetah and matted sides as well and now for our next step I'm gonna need a set of hinges and I'm gonna be using two hinges and a little lock this one like so so first I'm going to attach my hinges to one side of the box so this side I'm gonna have hinges and this side I'm gonna have a little lock like so okay so for that you want to position both sides put them together decide which side you want to put your hinges on which side you want to put your lock on and I'm thinking I'm gonna put my hinges on this side so put them together like so and now you have to be really careful and make sure that everything sits perfect so when we attach everything it's not gonna get wonky okay so hinges uh, these are the hinges i'm going to be using and you of course can only use one but i'm thinking i'm gonna use two of those hinges and my hinges uh this is actually the correct side <clears throat> how to put them on but because this middle bit i need it to be sticking out so i can't really glue it this way like so it's too much of a gap so i'm gonna be turning them around and gluing them the opposite way if it makes sense um and it doesn't really matter because this side is beautiful as well so i'm gonna be doing hinges first 
and let's have a look where to position them uh, i want them about here okay and for that i'm going to be using my super glue uh, just because i want it to stick fast so don't really need much and now i'm going to stick them on be careful check it out again before you stick your hinges down that all sides are even sits nicely and just press down and hold this is one hinge down and I'm gonna do the same way another one box opens now and closes I'm happy with that and it looks nice and now we're gonna do our lock so this sits really nice to do our lock I'm gonna put something underneath in between hinges so I get a flat surface um, with a little bit in the middle for my hinges so I can position my box like so and now we are going to attach our lock so for lock to attach lock I will be using um, glue gel okay let's do that but because glue gel doesn't dry instantly uh, we have a bit of a wiggle room which is really nice to have in this case and I have to put some more glue gel in my syringe okay I'm back with full syringe so I'm applying my glue gel in the back of our lock like so hopefully you can see that now i'm going to position it roughly where i want it over here and now i'm going to take this bit and be careful don't glue the middle bit because this is where your lock is going in so i'm gonna be applying glue on just two sides on the top and on the bottom now i'm gonna need my tweezers and maybe i should take it this way and try not to make too much mess well i'm gonna try not to make too much mess slide it in like so nope this is the wrong way this is the right way
and now position them where they supposed to be and I have glue gel absolutely everywhere which is not good and you're gonna have to let it sit and dry and I think I need to put this one a little bit up like so and I acquired the problem so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a string and I'm gonna take it around and tie it tie it tight I'm gonna put double knot so it holds both sides together like so and now I'm going to position it again and this is the beauty of glue gel because it doesn't dry instantly you can still um, move things around and now make sure so nice and straight which it is and now the string is holding both sides together and you can go away and let it dry for a good few hours and while glue gel was still drying i took i had the bag of these little screws they're absolutely tiny this is how small they are so what i've done i took four of those and they have absolutely flat heads completely flat so i've took four of those I snipped them because obviously I wanted to put them in these four holes that we had when we attached um, this lock and I took and cutters I snipped I left just a little tiny bit and this was absolutely enough to put them in and because the glue gel was still oozing out I did pop them in you have to make sure they are absolutely flat so press them down like so and then let it dry okay and everything is drying out so as you can see the lock is an absolutely working lock and it locks like so so our hinges I did, I did add some bits so it looks a bit nicer I also added some corners uh, on both sides over here as you can see and those are the ones from my little trinket box I have several corners over here sitting around doing nothing so these are just your metal corners decorative corners and they're completely flat so I did glue them using a little bit of glue gel and let it dry they're coming in all different um, colors as you can see and also don't forget that you can color them in if you want something completely matching with your project so I thought you know what why not to pop them on because obviously it's all sits here and now the fun part is to open our box and put our Versafine Claire inks in and as I said this one is not swatched yet I'm yet to do that as you can see I did swatch all my Versafine Claire's 
so pop them all in and as I said I did design this little box and it's absolutely perfect for holding your VersaFine Claire inks so if you have the whole collection you can just pop them in like so and close them so when you are not using them they can sit on your table on your desk and just look pretty and this is another side and when you are working with them all you have to do open them up and they're gonna sit like so okay so i really hope you did enjoy this video i really hope that you're gonna give it a go and please subscribe to my youtube channel crafting with elona and hit that notification bell so you don't you do get notifications when i post any new videos there's gonna be lots of coming of those and if you are willing uh, to show me on let's say instagram or somewhere else what you've made with it uh, let's say for instagram just what you want to do is tag me this is instagram tag me when you've done your little project i would absolutely love 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 to see what you've done with it because i mean so many beautiful papers out there and it it would be interesting for me to see um what how would your finished project uh, look like okay so thank you so very much for watching i do appreciate it a lot don't forget to subscribe like comment and tag me on instagram if you make your own project i would appreciate it a lot thank you so much until next time bye